Well, good afternoon. Welcome to another mail day video here from Bounty Hunter Breaks. We got a few packages. One from over here on the left. That's from Titan Cards from two weeks ago's breaks. Got a package here from Tops, and then another one up top here. This FedEx package. That's from Upper Deck. And I save the Upper Deck one for last because I'm pretty sure that's a big card. So without. Any more fanfare, get into opening up this box and remind myself again what it was that I had for breaks because I don't even remember now. Looks like there's some stuff on top there. That package. And there's nothing else in the bottom. That's pretty much it. So hope everybody's having a decent Tuesday. Finally getting some heat here where I am. Oh yeah, finest. That's right, finest. And what was the other thing? There's something else here. Oh, some ingrained. There's an Ichiro. I'm trying to just get all the inserts and stuff out. That's all finest baseball. So that's it for that. So we'll kind of go through. Some of the inserts and stuff. Got the Trout Otani, an AJ Puck, and is it Zach Brown? Seth Brown for the Athletics. Kristen Yelich and Keston Hira for the Brewers. Tatis and Paddock for the Padres. Got an Austin Meadows refractor. A Vlad. I'm not sure if that's a. No, that's not a high number, so it's not a bit. I don't think it's a variation, but Vlad, Refractor, Dylan Cease. What is it? A finest firsts insert. The finest career for Ichiro. Got a Sheldon Noisy, Blue, 102 out of 150. And a 189 of 250 for James Paxson, Purple Refractor. A beautiful gold of Juan Soto and Kyder Keboom. And it was kind of weird. I don't know if it was intentional or not, but if you look at the centers, it looks like a giant heart. And I don't know if that was an intentional part on Topps' design or not. Luis Robert, rookie refractor. A Paul DeYoung. Oh. oh, that must be a high number. A Bo Bichette. Finest first, a regular Robert, another Bo Bichette, Gavin Lux, and then a couple of the cards from Ingrained. Got a Patrick Waugh to 299, 231 of 299, and a Dante Fabro for the Predators, 294 of 299. Nice looking cards there. And then here's the hits. Interestingly enough, wrapped and taped and taped and wrapped. And <clears throat> so for the finest, we've got a nice Nico Horner. And the way that they did it, you can see that his name kind of overlaps over the glove so I don't know if that was an intentional move on tops part or not but nice refractor auto not numbered and an interesting signature for Kevin Biggio green refractor 37 of 99 for the Blue Jays Tim Anderson the man insert and that is numbered 51 of 99 you can kind of see it there I'll try to get it just in the light just right uh, yeah, it's not being very cooperative there. But it's right here, the numbering. Right, right next to my thumb. And then finally, another Carlos Carrasco. Refractor Auto, not numbered. And then a couple other ingrained. We got a Teddy Bluger Auto, no number. 
Hey, Cody Glass, Ebony, Parallel, 47 of 49. And then the two or three big cards, I guess it's three, from Ingrain. Ugh, if I can get them all out. So I got a Tobias Bjornfot, 192 of 249, black, carbon, signature. And next. Uh, Henry Richard, and that is a very short print. That's number one of 15. Stick Relic from the Canadiens. Yeah. Again, it's just a remnant, so it doesn't really tell you much about it. And then another looks like part of a stick from Leas Anderson for the Rangers. And that one is numbered 15, right? Is that what I'm reading? 15 of 100? Kind of see it there. So that's all that. Pretty cool. Well, we'll get into the tops package here. I want to say this is more... Project 2020s, but uh. oh no, this is I know what this is now. Okay, I had forgot. Whoops, forgot about this. So a couple weeks ago, being Father's Day. There was a special set that Topps produced. I don't know how they've got this packaged up. That's it. So straighten that out again. Well, that's interesting. Sorry, I just clean up a little bit so I, elbow's not leaning on it when I lean on the table. So this was like a Father's Day, I am your Father's Day set. So it's really nice, nice gloss front and back. So the front, I'll go through them real quick here. So you got Princess Leia, Darth Vader. And on the back, join me and together we can rule the galaxy as father and daughter. And I'm sure you can figure out what this one's got on the back, but you got Vader and Skywalker. Oh, that's funny. Best dad in the galaxy. Mandalorian and the child. Perfect duo on the back. Han and Ben Solo. The Force is strong in our family. Uncle Owen and Luke. Thanks for teaching me the ways of the Force. Bail Organa and Princess Leia. On the front and on the back. Wow, look at that. Best dad in the galaxy. Imagine that. Repeat. Django and Boba Fett. What? I can't quite read the beginning of that. It's like, oh, my kids call me dad, but I prefer Jedi master. Jan Sandula and Hera Sandula from Rebels. And again, the same thing, even though it shows Leia and Vader. Here's another good one. I like these characters. Ulrich Wren and Sabine Wren. And then again, that's Thanks for Teaching Me the Ways of the Force. Seems a little wrong on that one. 
and then a Jin and Galen Urso. And kind of a generic back on that one. I think they could have come up with a better little saying on the back of that one. But oh well, it is what it is. So yeah, I think I just ordered the two sets. I probably should have ordered more just to have spares to give out to folks. But yeah, nice. I like it. I'm glad I bought them. Because they're, you know, fairly high quality. It's not like they're garbage quality. But here's the big package. This was such a crazy deal. Because it was coming. FedEx needed a signature required. I tried to redirect it. They wouldn't redirect it. They kept saying that, well, even FedEx, when I called them, they're like, oh, we can't redirect it. It's, it's specific instructions from the sender. So anyway, so I don't even know where it's at in this, but I'm hoping it's in here. It's not just an empty envelope and all this trouble. There is something in here. I don't have anything to block it with. Well, you have this, but. And there's nothing else in there. It's pretty much an empty padded envelope. So let's see what it is. It's from Artifacts. Rookie. For the Vancouver Canucks. Now, I thought this was supposed to be a relic auto, but it's five of 25 Quinn Hughes, and they don't even, oh, it does have something on there, but I'm not sure what they, what have they got there? That was some weird looking deal for the top lip here. They don't have tape over it. They don't have a seal on it oh no it's just tape it's just a piece of freaking scotch tape that is so horrible that's crazy you would think for a card like that they would have put it in a one touch or something and from what i can see, yeah that's a sticker i think i don't have a well, I do, but I'm not going to get up to get it right now. So, yeah, so I can kind of pair that up with this guy that I pulled on Sunday. Two of the top rookies. So, I got a nice young gun with Kale McCarr and a beautiful Quinn Hughes rookie artifact, which was a redemption. But like I said, I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be a relic. But I'd have to double check the redemption again. Well, that's pretty much it for the video. That's what I've got to show off. It was quite a hassle to get that. I had to wait 30 minutes at FedEx just to pick it up. But I guess it was worth the wait. But, uh, yeah. Have a great rest of your day, and uh, hope you have a great week, rest of your week, and as I always like to say, keep collecting.